video is to outline all steps required to measure hardness by Poldy Hardness Tester. After cleaning, assemble the standard bar into the apparatus by inserting the tapered end of the standard bar into the space provided between the ball and the plunger and slide it further beyond the tapered position. The test bar will thus be firmly gripped between the ball and the plunger pressed by a spring. Place the tester vertically on the test surface such that the ball touches the polished surface. Apply the impact load on the top of the plunger using a 1 to 2 kg hammer. The blow should not be very hard and should as perpendicular as possible. The blow will cause two indentations, one on the standard test bar and the other on the specimen. It is essential to apply a well-guided, short blow to avoid a rebound and thus a double blow that may produce an erroneous result by damaging the sharp edge of the ball impression. For identification purpose, mark the obtained indentation with pen or pencil. Make sure a minimum distance shall not be less than 5 mm with diameter of the impression to be made and any other indentations on the face. The distance between the centers of any two indentations on standard test bar should be less than 15 mm. Minimum distance of the indentation diameter from the edge of the part tested shall be 12.5 mm. The diameter of the impression produced on the standard test bar should not exceed 4.2 mm. The diameters of these two indentations should be measured accurately with magnifier having the least count of 0.1 mm and the estimation of the diameter to 0.05 mm. The diameter of the impression produced on the standard test bar should not exceed 4.2 mm. If a larger impression is produced, the comparative bar may give way laterally and the test result may be in error. If the bar is fully utilized, it has to be replaced. If the obtained indentations are slightly elliptical, average diameter should be found out. Measure the diameter of each indentation in two directions, perpendicular, 90 degrees, to each other shall be measured to within 0.05 mm. The arithmetic mean of the measurement shall be used for the calculation. If the diameters of two indentations made on test surface differ more than 0.1 mm then the readings shall be discarded and the test shall be repeated. Employing booklet and mathematical equation supplied by the manufacturer for the apparatus, determine the hardness of the part by using both test bar and part, impression diameters and the hardness of the standard test bar. A typical Poldy chart for steel is shown, in which upper figures indicate tensile strength of specimen and lower figures indicate Brunel hardness number of specimen. For instance, if obtained average indentation diameter of standard bar is 1.9 mm and average diameter of specimen is 2 mm then Brunel hardness will be 167 HPC. A typical mathematical equation supplied by manufacturer is shown. Where BHNSP is Brunel hardness number of specimen. DSTD is impression of standard test bar. DSP is impression of specimen. D is 10 mm diameter ball indenter. The measured values must be reported with the designation HBC and the Brinell hardness number of the comparative. The result shall be written as shown in the following example. 232 HBC 240 where 232 is the hardness determined and 240 is the Brinell hardness of the comparative test bar.